Hey everybody, it's George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World here at NAB 2015. We're at RME and they're launching a new product today and we wanted to talk about it. So here to tell me about it is Jeff from RME. How you doing, Jeff? Doing great, thank you. Yeah, today we're launching the new Babyface Pro from RME. So RME is a, a German audio company that's been building PCI, Firewire and USB interfaces for the last 15 years plus. Uh, the Babyface Pro is the evolution of all that technology into a small portable package that's uh, going to be great for anybody who has small track count needs but ultimate audio quality uh, desires. Babyface is a one piece of aluminum. We've got two mic inputs and line outputs built into the unit, so no clumsy breakout cable is required here. Uh, on the side of the unit, you've got a couple extra inputs if you want to bring your own mic preamps to the party. Uh, dual headphone outputs that are powered individually. You can run uh, you know, multiple headphones out of the unit with plenty of power. On the side is uh, some expansion capability with ADAT optical and MIDI. And the whole thing is bus powered by USB when you're using with a computer. In addition, are these ADAT and SPDIF switchable or only ADAT? They're, uh, they're switchable, so you can do input and output either can be ADAT or SPDIF. And uh, when you're mix running... And mix and match. Exactly. And uh, sample rates support up to 192 kilohertz. Uh, one of the neat things with the baby face though, completely bus powered. I can just walk over here and with the drivers, plug it in and we're going to fire up. And you're going to get the capability of using uh, our integrated mixer that's actually inside the unit to listen to your input signal with zero latency, even applying effects as you're recording. So you can even record dry and monitor with effects, or you can put those effects right into the record path. Doing some EQ, low cut, we have a beautiful three band parametric EQ built in that's all powered by your own DSP, so you don't need to bring any expensive plugins along with you. One of the great things here though is it's very simple to set up a control room system where we have both a main output and a headphones, and you can have different signals going to each one of those. So example, you might have a microphone and speakers in the same room. You never want the mic to hit the speakers. Exactly. You can mute the speakers and listen to the headphones and you know, or have a different signal coming out of the speakers than you have going to the headphone output. Now, in order to use the baby face, do you need to use this interface or can you use it as a really kind of a simple plug and play yeah, kind of device? Yeah, you don't need the capabilities of the total mix. You can kind of dumb the interface down very easily by loading it into class compliant mode. So if you're running with a Mac computer or an iPad, uh, all you need to do is press the two keys here at the same time while you plug in the USB power and that will load it, boot into uh, class compliant mode where it works completely without a driver as just a standard you know, t uh, 12 in 12 out audio interface. That's amazing. It sort of has a double personality. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you know of course being a RME product manufactured in Germany to the highest standards. It's no slouch in the audio department. Really excellent mic preamp performance. Uh, we find a, a lot of uh, voiceover artists really enjoy the mic preamps of the RME to the point where they don't really feel the need to bring along their extra preamps for small projects. Exactly. Additionally, we can save mixer snapshots inside uh, the, the mixer interface on the computer. So you can always go back to uh, a known setting, you know, even if you're playing around with the routing. So what platforms does it run on again? Uh, the drivers that RME provides are available for both Windows and Mac. And when I say that, we're talking anything from Windows XP Service Pack 2 and up. And in the Mac world, anything Intel. So we're, wow. we support a lot of legacy computers yeah. because of the USB interface. It, it's a ubiquitous uh, connection, yeah. so you're going to be able to use just about any computer on the market today. Fantastic. Or yesterday. Now, when you plug it into an iPad, what happens? Is it is it default to class compliant, or is there a control interface that's like to, that? You'll, yeah, you'll need to set the class compliant up w when you uh, power the unit, and once you've connected it to your iPad, we have also a, a Total Mix app that you can purchase through the iTunes Store that'll give you access to all that routing inside the hardware right from the iPad as well. So you can still take advantage of all the low latency monitoring and mixing capabilities. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations on the new product release. And uh, I think voice actors that crave the next level up from their entry level interfaces are going to be looking at this thing. Oh, yeah, this is good. perfect for that kind of application. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks a lot for your time.